Hi there, I'm Murderbird, and welcome to the channel. This is one of my first types of videos like this, like a progress video for a type of art project I've done, and also the first time that I'm revealing my voice to everyone who watching this right now. So, hello, hi, welcome to the channel. And also, oh my god, this is also one of the first times I've shown everyone my hands. <laughs> if you know, on my shorts, I usually just have gloves on. Anyways, feel free to sit back, relax, watch the video, and listen to me talk about the process, and also gush over Inside Out 2 as a movie. As you can see here, I am currently making the skeleton, or like, the basic frame for my anxiety figure that I made. That I'm making in the video. Um, I think she was originally supposed to be a clay figure, that's why I didn't make two legs and eventually earlier, not earlier, um, sooner on decided to cut that weird meat leg into two to make two opposable legs. But um, <laughs> my clay got all dried up so I couldn't do that and I had to make do with foil and tape. Anyways, I just really love Inside Out 2. It's a great movie overall. I mean, it's Inside Out has been a franchise that's really close to my heart already. I've been forced to watch the original movie so many times for like school purposes and stuff. And at first I was like, eh, I don't know about this. But I think with the second movie as well now, I really see the vision and I really enjoy what they did. As a teen that's pretty close to Riley's age, I'm around 14 now, I've really connected and felt really close towards what she's experienced as a 13 year old in the movie. Like the awkwardness and like being anxious about how you're acting around people like oh do i feel cool do i seem cool it's just really hits close to home you know i mean i'm still awkward like that today even <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to not put as much spoilers in this, but just in case I start ranting sooner on, um, just a fair bit of a little spoiler warning so far before we get too deep into it. As you can see here, I'm currently sewing together Anxiety's um, fit right now, using felt and some sewing stuff and alcohol pens. I have so far. This was really difficult because like it's been a long time since I've actually sewn and I don't think I tied the ends um enough and so they kind of just ripped apart. I'll also probably regret this in the future. Well I did regret this because I didn't know how to put the fit together like honor so I kind of struggled with that later on. Anyways, let me continue talking about Inside Out 2. Um, I'm really glad that the the original, the people behind the movie checked in with like um, teenagers and also child psychologists to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. This is just what Pixar does. That's so really cool. It's like how they construct the abstract thoughts into like visuals and stuff. You can tell that I'm <laughs> stealing these words from other YouTubers who've um, reviewed the movie. I mean, if you're looking for a deep review, this is not it. I'm just here to talk about my anxiety figure fan art thing and my love for the movie. And honestly, just the movie, like, it's just really great. And I'm really glad that I did get in contact with it. People like that while getting involved with the movie. Hmm. 
Uh, you can you can see me struggle with trying to keep the painting on frame, but right now I'm in the middle of the painting process. Yeah, there are just some extra paints left behind from one of those paint by number canvases that we threw away. Um, we didn't really do much with those, so we kind of just left it there. So now I'm using them for projects like this. There you go. You can see me show her off. You guys, you're getting Garden of Ban Ban vibes from this though, like honestly. She wasn't orange enough, so I decided to go over her with a orange marker. And just try to brighten up her color. But yeah, that's me trying to paint the inside of her mouthies. And that is a really light color, so I don't think that. We went well, but that's gonna be fine because I covered it up with teeth soon after. Okay, so now we're getting into some major spoiler territory because I'm going to start talking about around the climax, the middle-ish of the movie, or maybe a bit after that. So if you want to, you can mute the video or just click off now. Thanks to, thanks to all of you for staying this long. So um, I've really connected to Riley's experience with anxiety and I'm really glad that they didn't demonize anxiety. Like anxiety is there, it's just hell. Like that's how it works in real life anyways. Just, but like seeing Riley like struggle with anxiety and trying to fit in and being cold, not mature. I really connected that experience, especially when I started high school back in year seven. <laughs> I was really awkward, guys. <laughs> but just like seeing anxiety start to panic and like, wait, this is not how it goes or whatever like that. That's really close to how I've experienced it back in when I was a bit younger too, just struggling with trying to fit in and the change and all that, you know? I'm really glad how they dealt with anxiety in the movie too. Like, like I already said earlier, not demonizing her it and showing off how anxiety can be useful like later in the movie. And also um, showing ways we can deal with anxiety, like after Riley's anxiety attack, how she's trying to practice um, like some type of mindfulness and staying in tune with the real world. And also Joy in the end of the movie where she says that something along the lines of, I think we can't control that now, but what can we control? Which is very important too, which an important thing when dealing with anxiety is just this aspect of control and what we can control, what we can't control and stuff, which is something I've learned over the years. And here's the final product! Um, I'm really glad about how she turned out and how she looks at least close enough to her movie form. Um, because of the storage on the phone that I was using to record ran out and I couldn't record any more progress, I'm just gonna show you how she works here. A little turn around and just moving her limbs a bit to see um, her posability. She can stand up too, so that's really cool. A thank you to whoever's watching right now. If you've watched to the end, I'm really grateful for your engagement in this project. And thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a good day or night.